What is up guys, today we're taking a quick look into reddit's r slash shitty car mods. I myself, years ago when I was young, did some terrible things to my earlier cars. Here's a couple of pictures of my first car, Jeep Grand Cherokee, and yes, I absolutely went to the AutoZone, Walmart, Pet Boy special, so, you know, these cars, yes, I'm making fun of them, but at the same time, they have a small special place in my heart, so let's get started. And right off the bat, we are starting with a beautiful 350Z that obviously is used that, I don't know, whoever, whatever Crayon user is using, they want just two colors, black and red. Let's, oh, let's, let's make this a little bit bigger and take a look inside of here. What disaster are we looking at? Okay, so it looks like we have a ill-fitting front bumper. I don't know if that's tweaked out of placement or not, but that's red, red right there. It looks like we decided, I guess that's a vinyl wrap on that back window because that is just red from what i understand 350z is already kind of hard to see out of let's just make that worse we have the little um window like window visors on the back and that's red as well and we have absolute tabletop of a wing you know this would be a great standing desk i think it's just a little bit too tall so maybe you have to be really freaking tall to use the back of this um but maybe when you're at a car meet you need to eat your lunch i mean hell maybe you're helping your friends out there um, deep dish in the back has little pointy lug nut covers to show that you're as edgy as can possibly be and all I gotta say is oof I'm not sure what's worse the mishmash colors or this front fitment let's be honest it's all pretty trash what do we have here oh coming over from Germany McDonald's of Germany <laughs> I kind of like that putting the M right there I you know if this actually is an AMG which it isn't that would actually be funny. If I had an AMG, I would absolutely replace the M with the McDonald's M because I'm a trash American. Let's see, we have the little German stripes going right here. I can't really tell much on these mufflers. Again, you know, I'm I'm assuming this is probably just a base model with a couple of little spoiler, with a little uh, trunk spoiler, a little roof spoiler. Honestly, if it didn't have the missed badging, this might actually be pretty clean, but this stripe is just looking yikes. I, I, mainly because it's just not right here. I think that's why it looks so off. I mean, hell, take off these two decals, continue the stripe, and hell, I'm a person of poor taste. I would probably rock it. Ah, uh, Toyota Camry. I don't know what it is about modifying Toyota Camrys. Like, they're not bad cars, if we're just talking about car. It's an okay car. It's a perfectly good, you know, washing machine or dishwasher. You know, it's just, I'm not going to be taking my washing machine and doing a, doing a, a teal tint wrap on it. Not tint wrap. <laughs> Uh, don't drink and derive, friends. You know, looks like we did some type of a wrap. We have red mud flaps because, you know, I don't think this guy's sh really sure if he wants this to be a rally car or a street car. He's got the chrome trim all around the windows. He's got the deck lid spoiler. I'm not sure if that's facing the wrong way or not, regardless. You know, it, it doesn't matter if it's faced or installed the right way or not. It doesn't need to be there. And also quadruple exhaust tips, probably for that Toyota Camry LE four-cylinder horsepower. Got to keep all 160 horses to the ground and just really let it breathe. And rocking the stock rims. See, I think people, when they modify Toyota Camrys, they're like, like, I think there's actually good intention with it. It's like, oh, I want to get into the car scene and I'm going to start with the Japanese car. But I can't afford a Subaru Impreza or something like that. And they can't quite swing a, a Honda Accord. I mean, hell, Honda Accord you is your dad's car. So they said, okay, well, Graham Graham is getting ready to retire the keys. And I'll take this. And at least it's a Toyota. It's not like a Chevy Malibu. So I'll give them that. But, you know, I would just simply drive this car and buy a side project. I mean, I don't want to know how much this tint, uh, this tint and this wrap job cost. But that probably could have been a fun little thing. And actually, it looks like it looks like the front wheels have unique wheels. I don't know what those are. That might have looked better. But regardless, you're not making this look better at all, my friend. Uh, a six-cylinder Dodge Challenger. And this is an old one, too. You can tell it has, the, it has the mismatched trunk. It has the lights that aren't quite lined up. And also, it... I don't know what it is, like the early V6 Challengers, you could definitely tell they're trying to like save money on them. Cause they just, like, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it, it has this one little limp dick, little like bleh, of an exhaust tip right there. Or is this actually an RT? Never mind, this might be an RT. Regardless, you know, the pre Fiat Chrysler Dodge Challengers were not pretty cars. Like they looked okay, but you, they also looked like they were trying to, you know, make it as profitable as possible and make it as cheap. I can be honest, this Dodge Challenger, you buy this car when your personality begins and ends with, I smoke weed, and I watch Adult Swim, 
and I work part time at Walmart, but I still want to be cool, and I'm still trying to pick up high schoolers. End. Okay, so all the way from India, you know, I have to admit, if it didn't have the Lambo doors and it was sitting lower, this might actually be pretty sick. You know, I got a lot of love for people in foreign countries. I've traveled around to, you know, Japan, Bali, and a couple other spots, and, you know, it actually is kind of cool to see the car scene in foreign countries, so I'm not sure if I exactly say this is shitty. You know, maybe not fully put together, but, like, I mean, if we zoom in here real quick, I mean, yeah, sure, there's a massive wheel gap, but have you seen the roads in India? This guy probably actually wants to try and get to work, or at least not just keep his car parked in his garage or something like that. I'm just not a fan of Lambo doors, not a fan of the spoiler, but I don't know. I actually might give this a pass. What's your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. All right, now here we are rolling with the peppermint wheels. I don't know if this was like a failed, you know, modification attempt. See, I'm see this one I'm trying to put together. Like, was there a wheel cover on top of the wheel, and they painted? No, no, no. They must have painted the wheel red, and they put the wheel cover on top and painted it white. Why would you do this? I mean, I'm not sure if this is a shitty mod or just a silly mod. So you know, sometimes I look through red and I'm like, okay, well, is this really like a bad mod because they're just being negligent, or are they just having fun? Who knows? What's your thoughts? Ah, yes, when I am building my own custom cold air intake, which I've done before, and it's stupid to do so you know, nine times out of ten, I absolutely want to have a nice, sturdy cardboard box and some string right in the intake track of my engine, because there's no way that cardboard can get soggy, can get mushy, can tear, can fall apart, and you know what, there's no way possible to have this little piece of paper, right? actually no, that's, that's part of the box, Jesus. There's no way possible these strings could ever, you know, burn, dry out, just get right past the throttle body and just go right into the pistons. Your valve train is going to love you with this modification. So what we have here, we have a lifted Suburban on ginormous wheels. Those are clearly 30 inch plus. And I mean, this is definitely a person that does not enjoy a comfortable ride. So I hope he has a fat lazy boy in there. You have to at this point, because those tires are what, 10 series, 5 series? I don't know. But let's say he has the cheapest lift to lift it up. He has the biggest wheels he can get, the thinnest tires. I bet he feels every single bump in the road, and I hope he enjoys it. Because clearly, this is, uh, his, this is clearly his dollars at work. Oh, here we are from California. We have a Honda Civic hatchback, and it looks like it's doing a great job of... Out. Okay, let, 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 let's digest this a little bit. So we have the speed vent holes in the rear bumper. Though, seeing how the uh, these rear tires, and I assume the front tires are cambered, you're probably not going to need those. Like, low-key, I remember reading in, um, you know, tuner magazines way back in the day. Like, if you have, like, a 10, 9-second car in the quarter mile, yes. There might be some benefit to having some holes in your rear bumper for back pressure, wherever the hell the excuse was. But here's the thing, when you only have this little itty bitty bit of tread on the on both, I'm assuming your front and rear tires, you're not going to be needing these holes. Hell, you're going to be needing tires. So, so I'll say quit cutting holes in your bumper, buy some more tires, and well, while you're there, let's just go ahead and fix the camera a little bit. Please? Pretty please? Okay, so guys, I'm old. I'm definitely an old man now. Zero two. I think I've seen the red girl do the little do to do dance and stuff like that. Yeah, this chick. Um, explain to me why on this, you know, rent ex rental car Ford Mustang, um, we're doing the zero two. We're doing the zero two vinyl wrap. I mean, I don't get it. Is it like the cool thing now, you know, with the youngins, the youths of America, to you know buy a car and just start wrapping it with anime stuff? Like, I know that's a thing in Japan. I used to live there, I know, I saw it, I'm not that dense. However, I am dense to this whole trend that's going on, because there's, like, low-key, I'm going to take pictures of it, like, I live across the street from a grocery store, there's some dude with a Honda Accord, and he has this stuff all wrapped on it as well. I guess working at Ralph's part-time really pays well. And what do we got here? Let's, let's finish on this. Let's finish on a limited TRD edition Scion TC for $10,000. Ooh. Let's take a look. Let, let, let's drink this in. We have homeboy right here sitting in the front trying to look as cool as hell. You know, I, I'm, I'm assuming he's in front of a middle school trying to pick up some girls. <laughs> uh, we got the Lambo doors, black wheels. I mean, 
Honestly, this car looks completely stock. I, I've seen this generation TC come in loud colors with black wheels stock from uh, from the dealership, or even in black and orange. I'm sure you've seen those, but what I'm curious about is this. Selling my limited edition Scion TC with full TRD package for 10k. Oh, by the way, it's firm. Not soft, not moist, firm. Oh, he's not in a hurry to sell it. 51,000 miles. I mean, 51,000 miles, that ain't bad. But let's be honest, I don't want to be driving whatever... I don't want to be living in whatever leftover residue he has left in this car. Because, you know, this car right here is a rolling definition of Axe Body Spray. No trades, no low ballers, no scammers, not in a hurry to sell, just seeing what the cash offer is. Well, if you want a cash offer, go to Carfax. They'll give you a cash offer that day. Hell, go to... Like, where are the up... Like, what's the online one? Like, there's Room and Car Gurus. Like, honestly... Oh, no, not Car Gurus. Uh, Carvana. Like, honestly, I had a Ford Focus, and I sold it to Carvana. It was easy. So, if you want a cash offer, my guess is he probably has a couple of baby mamas he needs that 10K to cover. Go there. Don't be doing this whole firm, not looking to sell, but please buy it from me. And, guys, with that, wrapping it up. If you like this kind of content, if you like my absolutely disenchanted voice over the fact that you know i'm way too old to be doing these types of videos and i bring nothing to the table then go ahead and comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time